Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do my late spring, almost Memorial Day, kitchen tour today. And hopefully I'll be able to do the living room tomorrow. I want to show you what it looks like now before I start putting out uh, patriotic items. My Christmas cactus finally quit blooming. I just broke off the last dead bloom. It's bloomed since January, and it's been beautiful. Uh, not going to dwell a lot over here. I just changed a couple little things over here in the uh, black, white, and yellow Ray Dunn cupboard. My sweet friend uh, brought me the yellow butter dish. That was part of a Mother's Day <laughs> gift from her. Uh, the little bee skep right here is one that I made out of um, Dollar Tree flower pot and their nautical rope. Uh, I've watched many videos on how to make those, and Queen Bee's Vintage was probably one of the first, and uh, our feathered nest. And I just never got around to doing it. You know how that is, but I saw one on the Daily DIYer, uh, and that was what she used was the Dollar Tree supplies. And so I had those and I made a bunch of them <laughs> for our uh, friends. So I did add that. And I believe that is all I've done different here. But I'm still enjoying the black and white with the touch of yellow. And here's all my, my uh, Easter cactuses and succulents that I'm going to take up back to the summer room if it ever warms up enough where they can stay out. So that's why they're all sitting on the kitchen table right now. On the kitchen table, I have my uh, yellow lemon cork placements that we got last year at Home Goods. That little book, as you all know that watch my videos, that's where I keep track of John's medicines that he has to take every day. And I've got the gray fly birdhouse with a yellow ribbon. And I put an arrangement in the lemonade pitcher. And this is one of the little books that John and I made. He made the books and then I stamped it and put the black polka dot ribbon on it. The squeeze the day sign back there, that came from Dollar General. And there's my wonderful little metal bee salt and pepper shakers that my friend Ellen insisted that I get for my bee stuff. And I'm so glad she insisted. And there's the little bee bowls that we got last year. And the matching pitcher. And the bee flower pot is from a set several years old. And then there's a little wood tag that John painted and I stamped. I'll do patriotic on the table, but I'll really hate to see this go soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, but uh, uh, I have really enjoyed this. Squeaky floors. Y'all know all about these squeaky floors. And then back there in the box John made, I've got the Yalla Ray Dunn Blessed House vase with some flowers from Dollar Tree. And then my sweet friend that got me the butter dish, she got me this adorable little towel. Honey Queen Bee. And more bee and lemon towels over here. And just some red and white flowers in the uh, green spongeware pitcher. And of course you all saw the strawberry sign. Now John did do this uh, frame for me and painted a star yellow so I put that there and it really pops on these uh, light gold walls. 
Then there's another one of the B skips. This is a little bit larger one that I made. And there's the book that we made. Y'all saw that when I did this video on this buffet. On this shelf that John made, I have some of the blue ray done, the red ray done, and I have some summer pieces of ray done, and I have some of my Polish pottery. And there's a the little vintage red truck that a friend gave John. He loves that little thing, because y'all know he loves his trucks. And the strawberry pieces of Terramoto. And that's sitting on my mama's cookbook and a vintage baker's chocolate cookbook. And there's all my vintage pie crimpers. There's some vintage beetles and those couple that we got at Michael's that look like old, but they're not. This lemon sign is one of the things my free, sweet friend did a porch drop for Mother's Day. Along with this darling Be Happy Towel. Just did a little garden vignette there. And up here on the bottom of the cupboard, I used some Ray Dunn and some of my Polish stoneware. There's that lemon sign that we bought at a local primitive shop that I love. And there's a yellowware bowl with some lemons. And a little bird with a pitcher with some succulents in it. And those lemon plates came from Dollar Tree last year. These are vintage salt and pepper shakers, which I think are precious. And the lemon garland up there with some of the birdhouses. I'll either do the living room this evening or tomorrow, I hope. And I just left my Precious pig over here, because we love him. Lemon towels from last year. And this counter is life. John's medicines are on our the cat bowl, my iPad being charged, John's junk. <laughs> And here's the beautiful flowers that my friend left for me on the porch for Mother's Day. She also gave me a pot of petunias uh, for outside. Have the Brave, the USA, went on and put those out. And I turned the apple bird house around since it said spring on it and put the red bow so that I can use it all summer. And there's the vintage sifter up there with the birdhouse with the red bow. And put some of my summer mugs on out. And I brought the farm series and put over here. And some of it's up there.
And there's my vintage Dr. Hess Utter Ornament. I love that vintage tin. And there's the mugs in the Farm Series. And up here, I did the little metal truck light and put some lemons in it. And there's the vintage tea set of the beehives with the bees on top that we've had for years that came from a church sale John bought for me for $5 and some of my vintage linens. And since the top was gone on this honey pot, I just put some florals in it. That's what a friend sent me from Florida last year. And there's that wonderful milk bottle sign that we got at Michael's last year for, I can't remember whether it was 60 or 60, it was on sale. And we'd never used it because we had Halloween out, and then we had Christmas, and then spring and Easter. Up there are my vintage bowls. An adorable set of vintage cherry salt and pepper shakers in the little stand. And over here I put the lemon pot holder from Dollar Tree in there. And that's about it for this tour. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And I know it's going to get warm soon. It's supposed to be in the 80s actually next week. So uh, I hope to be doing some more garden tours when the wind lays down and I can get back out there again. So have a blessed day. Till the next time, stay safe.